Hi everybody and welcome back and if you're new welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking part in this tear tray collab. Now domestic diva Sonia is the one who put this on and I we have eight other creators that's going to be joining us. I'm super excited to see what all of us are doing. Um, yeah, I'm hoping you guys will like this. Just to let you know, at the beginning of my tear tray that I'm going to decorate, um, I've got three of the projects that's going to go on it. Now, this is a tear tray I made for a, a collab last week, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get right into it. Okay, now I took uh, some yarn, some little... Uh, uh, vase fillers from Dollar Tree as well as some socks from Dollar Tree and I've got these little uh, pebble rock uh, marbles flat marbles or whatever they're called I've had them for years uh, I decorated my uh, daughter's wedding with them so I'm taking I'm making three little girl gnomes that's what I'm gonna do they're gonna look springy Eastery springy little gnomes so I'm just filling up the bottom of the um, sock. Now I kind of change the colors around so none, none of them look exactly the same. And I just filled those up, tied it off, um, left enough that I didn't have to stuff the hat. And I just put that over there. Um, I'm going to cut uh, six, no, yes, six pieces into about six inches. And I was going to make braids, but I decided just to make um, little ponytails coming out of the, the hat. So I ended up doing two, of course, for each little gnome. Um, that way that they have their little ponytails sticking out. And then those uh, little pot fillers is going to be their noses. Now, of course, I changed the nose. For each one of them so they're different color and then I end up taking one of the small little balls in a few minutes and I end up putting one on each of their uh, hats at the top of their hats and here's all three of them and I hope you guys like them let's get to the DIY number two all right this one um, I've got some beads out of a package that I got for cl from clearance at Walmart I think it was two fifty for a whole bunch, and I'm taking these pastel colors. And I also have some little chickens from out, uh, the Dollar Tree, and I took my acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. I am a Plaid ambassador, so um, I've got those skewers, and I'm just going to put ten of the beads on each one, and then I'm going to paint them. Uh, one purple, one green, and one white. Now, I did have two different colors of purple there, and I wasn't quite sure what, which one I was going to use. So, I ended up using the, the more the uh, lavender one um, than I did the darker one. So, here I'm just showing you. I'm just going to paint those. makes it a lot easier when they're on this uh, skewer. I remember many years ago, I used to put a, a dot of paint in my hand and I would put the beads in there and I'd just roll them around and it did really, really well. The problem was is I had paint everywhere on my hands, which I don't care if I get paint on my hands. It's just putting the, the uh, little beads on skewers is a lot less uh, messy, at least for my hands anyway. So yeah, so there is the green ones, and then I'm going to do the light, the lavender ones. And then the last set is going to be um, my white chalk paint that I made. And if you're wondering about the recipe, it's two parts paint, one part ground up chalk to a powder. I just put it in a, a food processor and just ground it all up. And then... Mix that up, and if it's a little too thick, you can add a little bit of water. If it's not quite thick enough, you can add more chalk. 
So, or you could add more paint depending on to get it to the consistency that you want it. So there I am working on those purple ones, or lavender, more like. La um, periwinkle's my favorite color, but all purples. I love all purples, and I love most blues. Not all blues, but most. So here I am uh, painting those beads all white. And I, each time I do one, I get a better, um, figure out a better way to get them all covered. And if you hear me uh, sniffle, I have really bad allergies, and they've been acting up for the last several days, even though I'm taking allergy medication. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference sometimes. So, yep, so I go up the beads, and then I go and do individual ones. So there is all those beads, and I separate them so that they don't dry together and get stuck. So, then I'm going to take one of the little, um, little chickies, and I am going to paint it on both sides with that lavender. Um, I know chickies are supposed to be uh, yellow, but in my world, they're lavender. And that's all that matters as long as I'm happy, right? Of course, if you wanted to do this, you could pick whatever colors you would like. To me, this screams spring. So I'm drying them with my heart, my heat gun. And now I've grabbed some jute, and I'm just going to um, add those on in a pattern so that it's just uh, white, green, lavender, white, green, lavender, over and over and over again. And now I've got beads running all over the place, but I end up gathering them up and wrangling them in and getting them all on that jute. So, here I am, I'm just adding them. Uh, sometimes the jute would start to fray and I'd have to cut a little piece off to get a piece that wasn't frayed. I didn't want to put uh, tape on them or glue because I just didn't, I figured this would work and it did. It went by quite well and it was really, it worked out just perfect. So, after I get this all done, then what I'm going to do is um, I am going to Um, go ahead and I'm going to cut that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the little chick on there. And they had a hole, so I just tied it on there. And then um, I'm going to use some hot glue to seal the, the um, knot as well as seal them to the um, first bead. I was going to try and push the uh, jute back through, but the hole was just too tight. So that's why I didn't do it. And I think I did a uh, triple tie. And like I said, then I'm going to trim it and use a little bit of um, hot glue to secure it so that it, it does not come loose. So, and that's where I was trying. And yeah, it wasn't working. It was too tight. So I'm like, no, nope, that's not going to work. So that's when I went ahead and I just um, snipped it. And then I used uh, hot glue. And I'm going to secure all of that together, um, the, the last one. And now I'm taking some more jute, and I'm just wrapping a whole bunch around my hand. And what I'm going to end up making is a, a tassel, and I'm hooking it right onto the beads as the tie. It's going to tie around the top. And then I am... Uh, going to put some jute around it so that it looks like an actual tassel and not just tied around the top of the tassel. So, and once I get that done, I'm going to use some hot glue and secure that down, and then I'm going to uh, tie the, uh, uh, the jute to the, uh, or I'm going to tie around the top of the the tassel so that it's connected and I'm going to use hot glue and secure that up against that, um, that green bead so that it is completely secure. So I hope you guys like this. I did trim it. Now I'm taking my little ladybug um, vacuum cleaner and I'm going to tell you 
all the stuff, the tools that I use, they're all in my Amazon uh, storefront. And the, all the links are in my link tree. And the link tree link will be in the description box. And also, don't forget to go and check my description box. Um, there you will find everyone's uh, cha uh, channel links as well as um, the playlist. And I'll also have the link in the first comment. Now this is a little bunny I found at the Dollar Tree. It was the very last one. I couldn't believe it. I was looking for more. And I'm just this kind of off-white. So I'm just using my, my white chalk paint and I'm just going to paint it completely white and then I'm going to put a little bit of pink in the ears and a little blue on the eyes and then I'm going to use uh, Mod Podge um, and secure you know seal all that paint in unfortunately stuff like that sometimes the paint will chip off so that's why I put that over so I'm just doing a little bit in the ears and then I'll be doing the little blue eyes. So, I hope you guys really like this. And in just a moment, after I get this done, I'm going to show you how I put together my tiered tray. I'm going to add these items I made, plus a few others that I've already made and or already have. Um, the other ones I made for different uh, videos. And... Uh, I can link those in my description box as well so that you can find out where they're at. So here I am I'm doing, I did the blue and then I'm drying it and then I'm going to do the Mod Podge so that it's all completely secure. I love Easter. Um, you know, the bunnies, the eggs, the chicks and all that. It's a fun thing to have, you know, it's a fun thing to decorate with. But the crosses and knowing the true meaning is what makes Easter so special. So, here I am Mod Podging it. Okay, now as I finish that up, let's get to this tear decorating. Okay, so here is the, the tear tray that I made last week. And then here's the gnomes um, that I just made. And I'm just going to start decorating them. Excuse my hands and my arms that keep getting in the way. But it's the only way I could figure out how to do it. So let's um, get right to this. This is the cross that I made last um, week as well. And then I'm just going to gather all these different stuff and just put these on. This is the little... Five cents a carrot I made last week and then I'm going to grab a little centerpiece that I made on Monday for the chick for cheap um, video I'm just gonna put that right on there as well and then I got these little bunnies that I um, have had for many years and I decided to put those on top and then put that little bunny I just put I just made in front of those uh, gnomes and then I'm going to grab uh, some eggs from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to finish getting this all decorated. Okay, so as I'm finishing this all up, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the um, the notification bell and give me a big thumbs up and I love love reading and commenting on the comments so please don't forget to do that also um, this I was really felt honored that I could do this and I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, tear trade collab it's I'm excited to go around and watch all of the different um, Collab uh, videos that's in this collaboration and I hope you enjoyed mine I really enjoyed bringing it to you so you guys have um, a lot of fun watching all of the different videos and as you can see close up all the different stuff 
that I did end up putting on here. Um, I really love. This is the, the planter I was telling you that I made the other day. And I just put some lilacs in it. So I hope you guys have a great day. And also, don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. And you all have a blessed week. Bye.